Shalom. We the real Hebrew Israelites coming to you week in, week out, prophesying the truth and the return of the Heavenly Father to set up his everlasting kingdom for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that listen and believe on his word and that do it by true sincerity and charity. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Baha Sham, Yahweh Shah, Baha Rakakurash, which is the Heavenly Father name, and the name of the only begotten Son who the world ignorantly and willingly called Jesus. And Baha Rakakurash is in the Holy Spirit, as the scriptures say, what the true worshipers will do in spirit. And that's the way we understand these mysteries, these parables, and these prophecies, which is found in the Holy Bible. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, which the Most High set up to push his word out in truth, sincerity, and charity. The Holy Prophets back to Daniel reincarnation. And Shalom to all you all can listen and believe it and do this thing in truth, sincerity, and charity as well. Well, well, I just want to go into a quick lesson real quick. You know, I was uh thinking about a lesson, you know, because, uh, you know, we go through things here and there, you know, as a whole. But you understand a lot of decisions we make you know, could cause you to go through things in the position you put yourself in. But nevertheless, if you're going through something, it's, it, you, you ain't just going through nothing to be going through it. Either the Lord testing you, proving you so you could be better, okay? Or, hey, this is what we signed up for. And knowing that we signed up for it, hey, it, it, it says in the scriptures in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, I'm going to start at 24. And when he had given thanks, he break it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This doing remembrance of me. So what our Lord was saying, okay, this literally happened amongst his disciples. But symbolically speaking, okay, getting understanding on it. This is also going into this word, man. Because why? You have a shot is the word. And the, the, the precept to that would be, this is uh, John 6 and 51. I am the living bread which come down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, which I will give for the life of the world. Okay, talk about you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. That's only who the law of the statute of command was given to. Okay, but two-thirds going to reject it and elect going to accept it. Knowing that the elect accepted and was predestined, we we going to have to go through things, man. From the minor to the major. From the time you, uh, before you came into the truth, the day you first heard the truth, your weeks and months going into the truth, all the way up into Jacob's trouble and our temptation. Why? Because this is the cup that we drunk of, man. And it's great to say you can't, you can't drink of two cups. You know, Lord willing, we're going to get it. Not to jump the gun. I'm going to read over and say, take, eat. This is my body, that word, these scriptures, because this word is uh, uh, here on earth. Is the, this word is the Lord's spirit, man, his Holy Spirit, okay? These words in his book, man, the Holy Bible, hey, these are the words of the Lord. So we take it, we eat it. As Ezekiel say, eat the whole roll, you know? And it said, which is broken for you, okay? Now we know what that means, that he died for us, man. So they understand these things. He gave us the Holy Spirit. He, he left the word behind. Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime time were written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Okay. And it says, um, for, uh, for you, which is broken for you, this doing remembrance of me. So every time we read, every time we open the scriptures, man, every, you know, which we, uh, partake in, we doing this in remembrance of Yahweh Shah. But this word is him. This is his spirit here on earth. After the same man also, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament and my blood. Okay, and we understand the New Testament. When you look it up and go into it, it means the, the New Covenant. And what's the New Covenant? Law, statute, commands be written into us. Man, we have the full understanding, the whole totality understanding of the scriptures. The righteousness and everything, which comes from who? Yahweh Shai. Because why he had to die, he had to go through what he had to go through. He had to drink the cup. Okay, which his uh, father ordained him to do for the nation of Israel to give repentance unto Israel only. Therefore, his men, likewise, because the scriptures say the servant is not greater than his master, have to go through the same things, man. Rather, before they come into the truth, coming into the truth, they weeks and months in, all the way up into Jacob's trouble, the hour of temptation. Why? Because this is the cup that we all drunk of, man. This is the bread that we all ate, man. Why? Because as it's going to say, it said, um, 
This is the cup, and this cup is the New Testament, and my blood, this do ye as oft as ye drink in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. So as often as we in his word, as long as we in his truth, eating this bread, drinking this cup, okay, understand the spiritual part of it. Not what they do in church, man, with the grape juice and the bread. They say, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. So we show that we not against what happened to him, okay? Because we not consenting to it, man. We hope that we want the ones back then that are, uh, okay, whatever, nonchalant about the whole situation or agree to the Lord's death, man. We pray to be covered in his blood, literally, as this world say, but they know not what they speak of, man. We hope to get that mercy and grace, man. And we hope the Spirit stay with us to continue to endure, because that's the only way you can. But as long as we do this, we do show the Lord's death, man. We show that we, we, we don't like this world and the way it's being ran, because they, they uh, take out the Holy Scriptures out of every equation, okay? They, they don't give all praise to the Most High. They even give it to man or to Satan. Okay, but they, they, they just don't understand, man. They don't understand that the Lord controls everything. They say, Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. And who's drinking and eating of the uh, cup of the Lord unworthily? The fallouts, okay? The man that was once amongst us that are now scoffers, man. Preaching vain doctrines, blasphemy the Holy Spirit. Okay? And they here in Chicago, man. Call Israel tried and refined. Uh, backbiters, uh, uh, evil man waxing worse and worse. Disobedient to their spiritual parents, which taught them this word and brought them up and nourished them in the word through the spirit and power. How about Shemal Shai? Saying you don't need teachers and elders, man. Just blast me the elders and the teachers, which were sent forth, the apostles, which were sent forth, I mean. Then on top of that, just blast me Holy Scriptures, coming up with new breakdowns, and not just them in Chicago. But any other fallouts from GMS or any people that just came out the woodwork scoffing and blasphemy the Holy Spirit. You doing the you and again, this uh this bread and this cup is symbolic for the word of the Lord, the lot, which we all are ordained to. You either ordained to a wicked lot or a righteous lot. So at all end of the day, they fulfilling a lot. Okay? You could do nothing against the truth before. You fulfilling your wicked lot all while selling up your judgment and those who the Lord don't want, who's unworthily, but you're still pushing uh, madness. Okay, we understand that, but hey, the Lord got the true man out here to overpower and overshadow your madness. But nevertheless, to stay on point, it says, shall be guilty of the body and the blood of your, uh, Yahweh. So, okay, or rather these people that's touching this Bible, man. I'm not, uh, that don't even know what they're doing. You got all these uh, false prophets and pastors, man. You're going to be guilty of the Lord's body, man. Okay? You're going to be guilty, and you have to pay for that. As the scriptures say, they say, but let a man examine himself. So you have to examine yourself. Oh, is I'm doing this? Is I'm on point? Is I'm all right? Okay? And I think about this all the time. The reason why I'm doing this lesson, because I know we got brothers out there, and I got people that watch and listen that go through things. Or that if they ain't going through nothing major, they're going to go through something if you truly believe in the Lord, man. Because Sirach 2 tell you, prepare your soul for temptation. I was thinking not strange. Uh, uh, which is, uh, I'm going to get it real quick. Uh, I'm going to lock my bed. Uh, I said that I'm going to get it. So I think you're not strange. It's 1 Peter 4 and 4. 1 Peter 4 and 12. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange things happen unto you. So you, hey, don't think it's strange, man. Okay? When you're going through the hell, because we signed up for this, man. As long as, we, the scripture says, as long as we eat and drink, as often as ye eat this bread and drink of this cup, ye do show the Lord death till he come. So we, we, we showing, okay, hey, this is, starting with the other apostles on down, 
This the way to be, man. Not selling breakdowns, not misleading the people, not doing it for the fame and the glory, not making merchandise of the truth, not wanting awards, not wanting praise of men, not being man pleasers, not following the multitude to do evil, not wanting the multitude to follow you, because the scriptures and the elect is the few, man, for the few, which is the elect. Scriptures say broad is the uh, broad is the way that leads to destruction, man, and narrow is the path. Roughly paraphrased, you can look it up. Which means, hey, look at the church and the Christian religion. There's billions of people in it. Okay? But that leads to destruction. That leads to confusion. That never liberated us and did nothing for us. But this truth, the understanding, the proper understanding, it's a narrow path, man. And only one can enter it. And you're going to have to go through things as entering it. Because what is part of eating and drinking of that cup? Because that's how you know it's the truth. You know? And the scriptures also say the wicked gonna suffer straight things, but not see the wide. And the righteous gonna suffer straight things and get the wide, man. In the second that is the seventh chapter. But nevertheless, reading on, it says, For this cause, verse 29, I'm read it over. It says, For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. So you're not discerning that this Bible that you picked up and you played with, that you sold breakdowns, that you fell out and you scoffed. You went back into the world for these temporary things and you put down everlasting life for it. Okay? You're drinking and eating unworthily and you're drinking damnation to yourself because you didn't discern the Lord's body. No, this is a, this is a Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh word. This is everlasting life. This is his promise. This is his covenant. This is his rewards. And this is what he said we was going to go through till he come back. So if you do anything outside of that, you drink a damnation to yourself. You drink unworthily, man. Okay, we have the examples, these fallouts, these scoffers, wicked men. They say, for this cause, many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. Again, going back into the world, being weak and fallout, man, being sick, because this word cleans you, and it makes you whole, man. It strengthens you, and it wakes you up. But if you don't have the true, proper understanding from the apostles and the elders, our teachers, our leaders, according to Jeremiah 3.15 and Amos 3 and 7, and a bunch of more scriptures, then you, you don't understand what you read. You don't understand the books and the power that you have in your hand. Because these pastors ain't tell you. People take it light, man. They say, if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. So if you examine yourself, as the scriptures say, I'm going to get that. It's Second uh, Corinthians 13 and 5. Examine yourselves, whether you be in the faith. So you have to examine yourself. As I'm going through this and that. For what reason? Is it because the Lord is trying to prove me and test me and correct me? Or is it because I made stupid mistakes? Is it because I was doing wickedness? Uh, okay, do I need to do this better? Do I need to do that better? Do I need to be more on it? If these are things you take consideration. Examine yourself. Prove your own selves. Know ye not your own selves? So you don't you don't know where you stumble at? You don't know what to uh, make you go off at, man? How that you have a shah hamashiach is in you, except you be reprobate. So when you look up the word reprobate, it means someone that's void of judgment, man. Not fit, not worthy when you go into it, man. It say, uh, reading on, back in 2 Corinthians 11, verse 30, verse 31. For if we judge ourselves, we should not be judged. So if you examine yourself, what, with the scriptures, with the proper counsel, and the men of the Lord, okay, and you doing what's required on top of that, and you're enduring, Okay, you examine yourself, you judging yourself. No man can judge you. Okay. We all got a judgment day, but you know, just let you understand, you know, just the basics of it. Verse 32. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord. So when you going through anything, it's of the Lord. He wanna make you better. He want it's something to prove you, man, like it says in Peter, first Peter four and twelve. Beloved, thinking not strange, concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened. So don't think it's strange, man, because this is our trials. Through much uh, sufferings and uh, tribulation shall we enter the kingdom, as the scriptures say, man. It said, um, read on, I'm going to read the verse over, but when we are chastened, we are chastened the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Okay, and we're not going to, uh, Lord will be the man the elect, we're not going to be condemned with the world. Why? Because the world condemned already. Because they didn't believe on the only. Be they didn't believe on the uh, son Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. They didn't believe on the son Yahweh Shai, who Yahweh the Father gave the only begotten son, according to John three sixteen, which he gave to who? You Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. 
And this is Mark 10 and 38. But Yahweh said unto them, Ye know not what ye ask. Can ye drink of the cup that I drink and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? Going through the same thing our Lord and Savior went through, knowing that the serving our greatness master, you're going to go through things, mockery, shame, okay? And you may get put to death. Some are going to taste death, some won't. Okay, but you're still a man of the Lord. You still will get the rewards just as our Lord and Savior got the rewards. Man, he's the author and finish of our faith. He went through all that shame, man. He was made low for his nation. And he died a horrible death. And he got all the victory. He got everything, man. How much more is servant? Again, some go die, some not. And they said unto him, We can. And Yahweh shall say unto them, Ye sure ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of. And with the baptism that I am baptized with, shall ye be baptized. So he let them know, you're going to have to go through it. So again, when we going through things, it ain't for no reason, man. No, you're a man of the Lord. This is why you're going through it. This is why the Lord putting you through it. It's Ecclesiastes 7 and 2. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting. For that is the end of all men, and the living will lay it to heart. And where we land it to heart now, we know that this place is going to be a lower state. So as Sirach said, be patient with our change to a lower state because America is going to a lower state. And that's going to be chaos and hell break loose. So if we got this word, man, it's going to, it's going to make us better. It's going, to, it's going to prepare us for what's to come. This Psalms 34 and 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Yahweh delivered them out of them all. And, and that's that's the point, man. The Lord will deliver you out of your afflictions. He make a way out of temptation, man. Because he got his man at the end of the day. The Second Corinthians 1 and 5. It says, For as the sufferings of Yahweh Shah abound in us, so our consolation also abound in Yahweh Shah. So a lot of people really see that consolation on this side, man. Okay? And we're low on this side, but we're rich. We're poor on this side. We're low, but we're, we're, we're rich, man. And, and the Lord see that. So we're gonna if we go through it now, we're gonna receive our constellation later, which is where we have to have patience. And they say, whether we be afflicted, it is for our constellation and salvation, which is effectual in the enduring of the same sufferings which we also suffer, or whether we be comforted, it is for our consolation and salvation. So all this is for our salvation, our constellation, man, to make us better, make us better judges and rulers, because everything else is gonna come with it. This Romans 8 and 18, for I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. So everything we're going through now is not to be compared. The everlasting life that we're going to receive in the kingdom, man. When the lost our commandment is written into us and we never sin and go off again. And everything else that get added unto it when we get to enjoy life. But, okay. And we got no understanding that. Because the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. It's 1 Corinthians 10 and 21. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord table and the <laughs> tables of devils. So you got to pick and choose. There ain't no in between. You either with the Lord or you in the world, man. You either going to eat and drink worthily or you either going to eat and drink unworthily, man. And a lot of people out here doing it, man. Okay? And that's why you got to examine yourself, repent, and call on the true name, man. And if the Lord don't open your eyes to that, then... Our gospel be here, it's here to them that are lost, as the scriptures say. The Lord willing, hope the last was edifying. I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashami, Yahweh Shah, Bahawah, Kakadash, double honor to the elders and apostles, the great millstone which the Most High set up to push his word down, truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom.